Let's now cross to our correspondent, uh, Claudia Insuno, uh, from the fan zone in Yaoundé. Uh, Claudia, there was so much expectation uh, rising on this Cameroon side uh, on home soil. Uh, there must be a lot of disappointed fans this evening. Absolutely. The disappointment is huge. The fans of the Indomitable Lions of Cameroon are more than disappointed after Cameroon lost to Egypt this evening. I mean, there was a lot of excitement, a very contagious jubilation here when the match began. But all of that quickly disappeared and was replaced with disappointment, a lot of frustration and anger. I mean, all of the fans that were here at this fan zone have deserted the area. And this is a reflection of what's happening um, at the Olympic Stadium different um, fan zones across the countries, bars, streets, just every corner of Cameroon. The fans are massively disappointed. Well, with the Indomitable Lounge of Cameroon now out of the way, Egypt is um, set to confront the Terenga Lions of Senegal on a Sunday at the Olembe Stadium. And this match is going to be a must win for Sadio Mane's Senegal, which has qualified for the finals of the tournament for the third time this year. But unfortunately, they've never been able to enjoy Joy, the joy of lifting the very prestigious AFCON uh, trophy. So while they'll be trying this year to um, make history for their country, um, the Pharaohs of Egypt will definitely also be um, struggling to make history for themselves, um, to push their, um, uh, their title of being the most decorated African nation's um, uh, team to um, their eighth um, title this year. So Sunday's match is a must, must watch because either way, history is going to be made. Sorry, a mouth-watering final to be looking forward to. Um, and of course, uh, the host Cameroon will be playing in that third place a playoff against Burkina Faso on Saturday. Uh, thank you to Claudia for joining us uh, at that fan zone in Yaoundé. I'm now going to cross uh, to Ruben in the studio. Uh, Ruben, there was a lot of excitement for this being a big blockbuster uh, with the two most uh, successful teams in this tournament uh, facing off each other for a place in the final, but it was pretty lacklustre this evening. Yeah, well, we have to blame Egypt, but also we have to give them credit for it because that's how they've won all their matches so far. Uh, they've eliminated the Ivory Coast and then afterwards um, Morocco and then now uh, Cameroon. And that's really impressive, you have to say. But they also did it in the same way every match. It's just taking out the energy of the opponents. They know exactly how to stop them. Um, we heard Simon say that uh, it was Carlos Queiroz who won the tactical battle. Maybe we could also say that Consensau lost it because he was he, his team wasn't able to get any chances, especially after uh, and during the second half and and um, and extra time. And then uh, we saw it at the penalties as well. They, there were three, three players who missed. They were all players who came on for Cameroon. And all the three players, at least when we were watching it together, we were like, are those the players who have to shoot a penalty? So it was clear that Egypt was better prepared for this match than Cameroon. And OK, I don't think that they will mind a lot. It's also not that strange that after uh, two matches with extra time already before that they didn't want to well play it as energetically as we've seen yesterday between Senegal and Burkina Faso. But... Yeah, as a match, it was uh, quite disappointed. Uh, disappointing, but uh, yeah, Egypt, they won't mind. Uh, we'll hopefully be uh, looking forward to a, a better showdown on Sunday. 